Hey, what's up everybody? It's Caius here, and I thought today I would make a short video on um, just showing how I've made uh, the Currencyus League, especially how, to, how I funded my Spectral Shield throw, and just to give some tips and tricks on how to make some good money, uh, even when you think there's not a lot there, and I hope these tips help. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show you um, what I made yesterday from about five to six hours of playing and I'm gonna show you the methods I do so what I do to get that kind of money um, overall I make a pretty good amount like um, I have it all set up in this stash tab so this is from yesterday's session about five six hours of playing and then having to sit around for maybe a couple hours hour or so after for uh, just trading with people now Normally what I do after a, a good session of playing is I'll sit down, I'll trade up currencies that need to be traded, I'll go through it, see what I have for sale, post things of a note first, and then we'll go ahead and do the smaller stuff later. And it ends up all adding up. Like if you look here, one row is 480 chaos. So we're well over 3000 chaos, and we have a bunch of sextants here as well. S some stuff sells the sextants, and then we got divines as well. Now, you end up looting a lot of stuff early as you play Path of Exile, but as you go, you start passing over certain things. Like, one example I can give is that when, like, when you first start a league, I'll usually pick up all six sockets because they turn into seven jewelers, and jewelers can add up. But eventually, you start dropping things like that, and you pretty much just start settling for raw currency. I'm, like, I'm at the point where I'm on a very strict filter, so I pick up very little, Unless it's like straight currency and on the way. Uh, so, if you do the math on this, we have about, I don't know, eight rows. We can do the math here. Kind of see where we're at. So we got eight rows. So 480 times eight. And then we have another 100, 180. We'll say we won't even count for three. 180. So that's how much raw chaos we got. And we divide that by 222, which is the going divine rate. So that's about 18 divines and chaos plus two up here. So we're at 20. And then we go ahead and look at the sextants. We have 50, 100, 150, 210. And I think the going rate for these is about 38 to be safe. That's like the higher end. So another five. So it's about 25 divines. Now, what this doesn't include are random items I pick up, which I've already sorted away, but things I'm going to use on a crucible tree. It doesn't include geodes. It's not including my maps, which are already put away. It's not including, like, certain splinters I'm getting, like fragment pieces. None of that is included. Or actual raw currency I found. That is just from trading. This tab here is strictly from just trading up currency. That's literally what it is. Or selling items that I did find. Like, that were actually worth a sellable amount. And any other raw currency was already put to this tab. So that's about 25 divines, not including any of that stuff. Or anything that has an associate tab, like an essence, a splinter, a scarab, fossils, delirium orbs, the limbs, which are worth a lot of money, which we talked about in my last video. Oils, doesn't include any of this, or, or cards as well. And... There's a lot of money to be made, and you can pretty much do this every day on a build that farms quick. So what are the methods I use to, to sell? So once I'm done sorting my inventory, I'll first look at any items I think have potential. Usually there's not many, and I'll put them aside and I'll deal with those last. But then after a long farm session, you'll have, like, I'll be sitting at like 2,000 alterations. Now, not everybody's going to enjoy doing this, but I'll bring up Path of Exile Trade over here. I'll put it right here. And you can come to here on the bulk trade, and on the small currency stuff, you just say that you want chaos, you're willing to use alterations, and you get search. This is on the trade website, pretty standard. And as you can look, some people are paying 12, but usually you won't hit anyone down here. My experience is you won't hit the people in the middle. Usually the top couple people are legit because they're trying to undercut, and you can sometimes get a response on them, so I try them. And then you kind of have to go to a rate about 14 or 15 to realistically get these. So if I have 1,200 alterations and they're just sitting there, and like yesterday I was sitting on 1,900, I could trade four stacks of 300 get 80 chaos just like that. 
So I'll literally go through and deal with that. And then if you end up being super lazy, you could even just trade all alterations up to jewelers, up to fusics through the vendor. It's not the best, but it saves some time and it makes the clicks less. And I'll pretty much do this with alterations, jewelers, fusings, and chromes. I'll trade these up right away. Now, another currency you guys might not realize is actually decent money, which I looked yesterday, but there are use are regals. Regals, you're actually getting... I was getting close to this rate yesterday, so 7 regals to 5 chaos. I had like 200, so I got like 160 something chaos, just like that, from trading regals. Vals are another one. These are about 2 vals to 1 chaos right now. So if you have a bunch of vals left over, trade them up. Regrets, the best thing to do is just trade them at Kyrick, 2 to 1 for unmakings. And unmakings, you could easily get 1 to 1 for. Okay? And that's about the quick trade i'll do you can do a gcps too i think they're it's like two two gcps to one chaos like i could be wrong it's something like that but you could do that with gcps you could do this with chisels it's really up to you now and i guess you could do it if you have tons of these i have like 700 of some of these and so on and then like i had a bunch of these or like sorry 700 of these and a bunch of these they trade up as well at certain currencies now if you guys notice when i brought this up i did it as if i was buying because it's under a chaos but as soon as we get to stuff that is over a chaos, I know it's confidently over, I set the prices of as if I'm buying. Because if you do it this way, you're going to get rates of what buyers are willing to pay you. But if you do it as sellers, so for instance, let's say I have chaos that I'm using to buy. Pretend you're the buyer and I want to buy regals. So we click on regals. The rates are different. They're slightly different, and they're usually in a, in a better favor towards you doing it this way. You'll make more money if you were doing it this way. So how I like to look is I like to go on here, and let's say I want to sell some tainted chromes. So I go to exotic currency. I'll say that I want tainted chromes. I'll go ahead, chaos. And I'm seeing here that it's about 3.6 to 1. Sometimes three to one. So what you could do here is you could take these tainted chromes. You could put them in like a tab, a sale tab. And I'm going to set the price to three. So what this means is each individual chrome is three chaos. And I just have them sitting there. And I'm going off a buy rate. And I'll just let them sit there. And I'll literally do this with any currency that's over one chaos if I want to. It just depends. Sometimes I don't feel like it. But I got a stack of like greater uh, Eldritch Embers. They're four chaos a piece. So I'll put a stack. I can put my conflict orb in there for a big amount of money. You pretty much have all the choice you could do. You could do with essences for like two or three chaos a piece. And you just let them sit. And you'll usually do this during your downtime. Maybe you played a lot. You just want to chill and watch a video. Or maybe watch a movie or a second by. Your hands needs a little bit of rest. You just do it with any of these scarabs or anything. It works for everything. And that's pretty much what I'll do. So after a session, I'll go, okay. These are the currencies I could trade up. I'll deal with the small currencies really quick. Now, anything that's over a chaos, I'll put all my sex into that tab at five point or i'll usually always do an even number but i'll do six c a piece if i don't feel like doing it the other way i'll put it for six c a piece and wait okay i can put this tainted blessing we'll put it up there these go for a chaos piece we'll put them in there these for four and so on and then we'll go through the essences we'll go through the splinters you can put fragments for sale if you want you can put ritz for sale and usually we'll get pretty good response especially on the expensive stuff now there's one other thing that is a very good money maker that has been doing really well for me is getting Eldritch full fragments. The halfway point, when I say halfway, the Polaric invitations is when you get this bar to halfway, you'll get a Polaric. Only go for about three chaos. But if you fill this up, you'll get an incandescent invitation. And those go for about 24 awakened orbs. And 24 awakened orbs for value are usually, usually, you can get more in bulk, but about 5.8 to an awakened orb. So if you could do that. Those are 139. So as long as, as long as you're running either one of the influences and getting that end orb, you're going to be netting 140 chaos every time. Like that fills up. Now there's also Maven Invitations. Now the Atlas ones don't sell much. Hidden, Feared, and Forgotten don't do too well. I think they're between like 5 to 10 chaos a piece. But if you get the other ones, and I'll show you what those are really quick. These make good money. If you don't feel like running them yourself, sometimes I don't feel like it. Sometimes I because I feel like every time I do Maven, 
instead of doing like Syrian X art influence, I make a lot less money in the maps, which we'll get into in a second. But if we look at like Elder Slayers, we hit search. Elder Slayers is going for about 89 chaos a pop. This guy's a little bit smarter. If he's actually getting 20 sextants, because Poetry will put it above. He's getting over 100 chaos. So this is probably a smarter way to do it and then convert. But we'll just say, we'll go with the cast. There 89 chaos per Elder Slayers. I traded like 5 or 6 of those for my session yesterday. So that, there's a good chunk. Then there's the Formed. It's another one that sells well. Okay. Formed goes for about 75c. And then there's the Twisted, which I think is high 50s. So those are the three you could consistently sell. You'll get quite a few of them as long as you're playing. And you'll make a good money on them. And just keep in mind, if you see only one at a price and the rest are all at other certain price, you could probably put it closer to the second price. Because this is just a guy trying to undercut. He's going to get a quick sale. He's going to be gone. At least it's probably already gone. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that's maybe an invitation. You'll make a lot of money doing that. For Scarabs, uh, your biggest money makers are going to be Reliquary, Ambush, and Divination. Those will net you the most money. The rest all sit between 3 to 4 on the Gilded area for the most part. Just depends. And then Wings are always worth like 50 plus C. And this is just going through this inventory. We'll go through other ones too. So we did Eldritch. We did that. We did Splinters. All that. You can do whatever you'd like with those. Uh, Delirium Orbs sell okay. Most of them go between 7 to 8 C a piece. Uh, exceptions. Divination ones go a lot more. Scarab ones go a lot more. And look at that. We just sold our Crumb. So we're going to do the trade. I just posted those. Let's see if the guy actually accepts. Sometimes you're gonna get trolls. Comes in. Go ahead and grab those. So just like that, didn't take too long. Sometimes it takes the API a second to uh, read that you posted something, and you'll just open the trade up. Hopefully they're quick because you'll be doing multiple trades, which we'll go in a second as well. And then usually what I'll do is I'll put them in a dump tab. See now other people are trying to buy. It means I had a good price on them. Normally, so I'll put this in the tab with these two, but I just put they went right into the here because I just turned the affinity on. So, you can do this with fossils as well, you can do a delirium, as like I said. So, for delirium, skittering go pretty well, uh, divination go well, and the currency ones. The rest are all between five to six or five to eight C to be realistic. Um, simulacrums were going for 20 something C, I think 29 was the last I checked them. I haven't checked them in a couple days though, so these are also another thing you can sell if you don't feel like running them. Catalyst. I'm running Metamorph, so I get shit tons of these. Uh, these all go between 3.5 to 6 chaos a piece, with the exception of Tempering, which are about 2 to 1. Uh, Pristine, which are 4 to 1. Prismatic, which are 9 chaos to 1. And then there is Unstable, which are about 4 chaos to 1. So you can make very good money. So pretty much with most of them, I'll just go and find someone to buy them in bulk. But for Prismatic, I'll put these for one of these for nine in my thing, and then I'll put these in there since they're higher than one chaos, and I'll put these since they're higher than one chaos. But the rest will just kind of go through. And again, after one session, I usually sit up about like 500 of some of these, so we constantly move them. And then we have the limbs, which you could run them, but if you get a full set, 250 limbs, and they're idle level 80 plus, you probably look at it almost four divines if you want to sell them individually. I don't know if that's a pain in the ass, so I haven't done it. Then we got our oils. You can do the same thing with that. And blighted maps. I don't really mess with those. I just hold on to them. Cards. I don't really sell. I just turn in the sets constantly. So I have them set on full stacks. But we do have plenty of cards. Which you can definitely find money in there if you want. And that's from the stuff in there. The rest of the money comes from juicing our league mechanic. And we will go to the beast area. And I'll show you where I get a ton of money from as well. So, from running beast content, you're going to come across primarily, we'll say three types of beasts, and then one category we'll put together. So, there's going to be three types of beasts. I have them already taken them out, but yeah, they're not going to show up. But there's going to be a craft. I could do this, just so we see. So, split, which is split an item into two mods. So this allows you to take an item, split it, so it gets copies of the Crucible Tree. That's the big use for it. So those are Plagued Fenimal Arachnids. And they go for about 12 Awakened Orbs each, which is around 60 Chaos. I can usually get 72 for them. 
uh, if I just put straight chaos, 72. You'll see a bunch if you spec right into beasts. So that is one of the mods monsters to keep out for. The other one is uh, Imprint. And these are uh, Crykic Chimerals. And those go for about 59 Awakens to 1.5 Divines each right now. And I pull a lot of those. Usually per day, I pull I can pull anywhere between 4 to 8 of them. And so with the Spiders, I can pull anywhere from 4 to 10. It just depends. Uh, and you'll make a ton of money just selling the beasts. And then the other one is Winged Scarabs. You'll get a Ferric Frost Hellion Alpha. Uh, these go for about eight, 7 to 8 uh, Awakens, which translate into about maybe 50 Chaos, 60 Chaos on a good day. And you can sell those. The other ones you can do, which I have plenty of them, are if you get the portals and you can beat ferals and you can beat fenimals they take a little bit of time you'll get the craft down here and these end up going for about 20 c a piece if you capture them now you're going to ask if you don't know how do you capture them you just go to einhar okay you go to einhar you grab your orbs they're one cast each i just go into the nearest place here because i actually don't know how to do it otherwise this might be the wrong way to do it but you just go into here go to any of these click on them and then if you're looking for Krykic Chimerals, if you have any, well, I got spelled right, though. You just have to start typing, it'll pop up. But Chimeral, they would pop up there. You would open your orb, right-click it, and click on the guy, and it'll turn it almost like a Pokeball. But Beast is one of my biggest factors of making money. Um, and then Metamorph has also, because Metamorph drops lots of catalysts in that, drops straight currency. You'll make tons of money doing that. And then... Um, I have stuff like ghosts, so we'll look at the atlas. So, what I'm pretty much doing to make money is we're feeding the hell out of beasts. And we pretty much just spec all the way into the beast trees as much as we can. You don't really need the chance to gain additional Einhar missions. We kind of went through this in the video. I kind of showed this tree yesterday. I was going to go over it quick. But, you make very good money doing beasts overall. And, just make sure you juice it up. And for this tree here, it's very important you do of the deep. You don't need to have this one. Some people spec it, but I wouldn't do it. You see plenty of the spiders anyway. This is what gets you the 1.5 Divine Beasts. This one. This will let you see them a lot more. So just spec into that. And then Metamorph will get you Catalyst. I'm also spec to the Ghost because occasionally you'll run into mobs that just drop a bunch of currency. Or like they'll drop like 20 Gilded Scarabs and like some insane like Wing Scarabs with it. You'll just make a ton of money from just having some spec into Ghosts. And that's where a lot of our money comes. Now, this does take some investment. So out of that profit, what I end up taking, I will buy supplies for 100 maps. Now, the maps themselves I have. I have plenty of them. Okay? We have plenty of maps. There's not anything like I can't run. And we're going to get more. I'm actually on overburden. We'll go into map selling in a second, which is also an option. So... What we end up doing here is we're going to juice our maps as much as we can. But that requires certain investment. So that's going to require, and I'll just show the tab, it'll show the price of what they go for. I'm going to buy for 100 maps. 100 polished bestiary scarabs. You don't need to buy gilded, just buy 100 polished. Okay. We're going to buy 100 polished metamorph. You could go for gilded because gilded guarantees that every itemized sample has an itemized reward, which is kind of cool. But you could just go for polished uh, metamorph scarabs. And then usually with my other two slots in my map device, because you get the map and then you get four other slots, I just put ten, I get stacks out of 100 of these and 100 of these. And then we'll roll 100 maps up. So I'm going to kind of go over the cost here. Um, I'm running tier 16 maps. You can buy, and I can tell you from experience with selling, you can buy most tier 16 maps for about 3 chaos a piece. You have to account that into the investment. So that is the first thing we're going to do. Is we're talking about 3c a piece. Um, so we'll go ahead and throw that on the calculator and we'll bring this up occasionally. So 3c a piece. And then we're going to start looking for scarabs. So in this case, you want to go down to the bulk item exchange. Look for scarabs. Look for your bestiary. And we're looking for polished. This is probably the most expensive thing you're going to buy for juicing. You can do a sec awakened sexton farming. I don't do it. But that's up to you. Now, it's a pain in the ass you can buy. Not many people have much. So you're not going to get them at the three rates. You're usually going to get them close to the four rates. So you can contact this guy and probably get him to sell a bunch of his. 
Sometimes it can even be the five rates. So this guy's selling at four. You could probably get him. So if we need a, if we need, uh, let's let's just say a hundred of these, like I said, it's gonna cost you four hundred C. So now your total investment per map, and we'll go through the total after. It'd be four C for the one, the one scarab, okay? For the one scarab. We go to Metamorph. Metamorph scarabs are usually a lot cheaper, especially these ones, because people, I think, want to run Gilded. Like, if we run Gilded here, I'll just show you. Gilded would be about the same investment. Probably even more. Wait, why am I paying with Tainted Chaos Orbs? Okay, one sec. I have, I have Tainted Chrome still active, I think. Let me just turn that off. There we go. So, if you're looking at Gilded, Gilded is about the same price as a polished bestiary but there aren't a lot of them so i usually tend to avoid these a lot of people i think are using them and they're not selling them so we look at polished metamorph oops gotta get to the search sorry about that these are about one to one and you can consistently find them at one to one and usually in bulk if you start scrolling down so it looks like they've gone up almost to two so we'll say two now and it looks like yeah with this guy you get for 1.8 a piece so we'll say 1.8. We're at an 8.8 .8 investment so far. Then you have to look at your chisels. Uh, chisels aren't much. Because we want to chisel every map that is white. Uh, chisels. Then we're going to search that. We need four chisels on a map usually. So it looks like it's... Wait, that's not right. Okay, that okay. there we go. That's about right. So yeah, it's about one chaos for four chisels. So there we go. So that's where we're up to 9.8. And then we're also going to be looking at... Uh, where are they? The fragments. So usually Dusk is the cheapest one. Dusk and Dawn I would go with. So Dusk is about 1 to 5. And Dawn... Is about... 1 to 3.5. So we'll say you're going to spend about 2 chaos to get one of each. So that's your cost per map. You're going to spend about 11.8 per map. But that doesn't end up being anything. And I'll show you as proof. Because as long as you're specced well into your tree using these scarabs, you're going to be making so much money. And I'll kind of give you an idea. So we times this by 100 now. Because we're going to do 100 maps. We're talking about 11... 1,180 chaos. That's what we're going to use to juice our maps. So if we use that just out of the profit I made yesterday... And this was on maybe 80 scarabs, keep in mind. I only used about 80 maps. Something like that. You're going to take away... Two rows here. So that's... That's uh, 960. 980. 1,000. 1,120. If you just discount these last three rows, that's what you'll spend, and this is all walk away. This is what you're going to walk away with as profit after you're going to reinvest this. So you're reinvesting three rows to buy some new scarabs, which is exactly what I'll do. And you're going to be set for 100 maps, and you're going to walk away with a lot of profits. Now, 1100 sounds a lot, right? It really does. But what did I say I get between, like, sometimes four to eight Crykick Trimerals? So you're talking 59 Awakened times 5.6. So if you just pull three of them, you almost made your money back. Just three. If you pull four, you're on the profit already. But you're also going to pull some Fenimal uh, Arachnids, which go for about this as well. So let's say you pull like four of those. That can make up for it too. You're going to pull some Ferrix, which are right around here. It's definitely more than that. It's more like 50C. You could probably actually go like this. Sorry, 5.8. That's more more closer, but still off. But you're going to do that. You're going to get some uh, Feral the first ones, which are 20C a piece. Okay, you're going to get like maybe like 5 or 6 of those if you want to run them. And it all adds up in addition to all the currency you're going to be finding in maps. Like, again, this was not including any of the currency I found. I found multiple Divines, tons of Chaos, tons of Actual Awakens, which I have sitting over here. Like, I think I was like... like at, three or four of these before I started, but you're going to get tons of Awakened Altars doing Eldritch Influence, and it's consistent money, 
And again, if we just hold that, I think I was at 4 when I started. After 80 maps, I was at 120. So if we just go 120 times 5.8. That's literally half your money back, just the Awakened Sextants. And I pulled a Raw Divine. Or like, Raw Divines. And it's just... There's so much profit to be had if you want to just keep juicing and juicing. It's totally worth the juice. And that's without sexting my own maps. I don't do it. I just sell them. I know it's good to do, but... I just never got into sexting. It wasn't the thing I just got into. Now, sometimes you get map flooded. And this one is not fun to do. And it's going to lead into another topic, too, of getting flooded when you try to sell it. Like, keeping your composure. So sometimes, I'll have maps, and I'll be overburdened. And you could go to public. And let's say I have so many tier 16 maps, set exact price... I know for sure on tier 15 and 16, I can get three apiece. And we just did that, and it lists all your maps now. They're listed at that price. If you want to stop listing them, you just click on it again with a right click and just hit check, and it'll take it off the market for you. So I've done really well selling with maps, and yesterday I sat around and sold a bunch to sell them. I can usually get three C apiece for 15 and 16s. For 12s to 14s, I can usually get two. And then from 9s to 11s, I can usually get 1C because people are just, they, they need completion, so they're willing to pay over. Even if, like, the trade site says they're only going for chisels, it, they're not because those people never respond. You can get them for much cheaper. But I could totally leave it like this. Set this tab. Set this tab. And we will just set these. Now, when you do this... And when you post a bunch of stuff, like I'm posting Scarabs and Elder Slayers and Delirium Orbs and everything at once, I'll just set them in a tab, I'll do some research, I'll price them out so they can be bought. You're going to be flooded, and that's okay. Don't feel like you have to respond to everyone. Prioritize the bigger trades. Prioritize things you might think that might be harder to sell. Like if you know Elder Slayers is going to get 100 hits, don't worry if you miss an 80 chaos sale once. You will find someone that will buy it in 5 seconds. Prioritize maybe the Blighted Scarabs that at 4C a piece, the guy wants to buy 10, you'll have a little bit harder to try to sell. Sell those. Get rid of them. And you'll get flooded, especially doing the maps. Like Sometimes I'll get like, a, like 20 people, and I'll maintain, like, okay, this guy's buying this one. I'll go in my tab. I'll sell him. I'll do the trade. I'll kick him. I'll worry about the next guy. Invite him as I'm doing the trade. You go as quick as you want or as slow as you want. There's no wrong thing. And just pace yourself and don't worry about the sales. And that, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, you'll make a ton of money doing this. Just take your time. Uh, and you can make a ton of money selling maps. I've probably made this league alone probably 15, 20 to buy just selling maps. Because people are always in need. And you can fill up. I did not know this until the other day. You could actually fill your map tabs. I had cemeteries. I don't have them right now. But this is all the space you get for one certain map. So you could only have this many erected uh, nests. So eventually, I just started selling maps because I was starting to overburden on them. And it's another way to make money. But other than that, guys, uh, I hope that helps. Um, I, I hope that helps you guys get some currency, some money. And trust me, everything is worth money if you want it to be. Some of the stuff, more tedious stuff, you don't have to do like trading up if you really don't want to. You don't have to do that. But know what your stuff's worth and just post it for sale. You'll make good you'll make good money constantly. But that's it guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys have a good day.